one day I'm going to be able to say I knew them when. <laughs> yes, sir. To the president of the Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance, President Sanders, host, opening up your doors, Pastor Cabot, members of IMA, city officials, denominational and faith-based leaders, churches that I've represented, brothers, sisters in Christ, citizens of my hometown, Omaha, Nebraska, good evening. Good evening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My name is Dwayne Hawkins. I'm the pastor of the Antioch Baptist Church, president of the Newark Baptist State Convention of Nebraska Incorporated. And it is my privilege and challenge to issue out a challenge to us on this evening. All right. Certainly, in my estimation, there are many other clergy that um, perhaps may have been more qualified or well able to do this, but by God's grace, he's allowed me to share these next few minutes with you issue of challenge really speaks to the issue what do we do from here mm -hmm. we've heard history historical account of the sinful immoral criminal, unjust, heinous act, the lynching of Will Brown. We've recited litanies, we've listened to scripture, we have allowed our leaders to pray intercession on our behalf, yet the question still lies before us. Where do we go from here? Yes, sir. Yes. What is the challenge as we leave this place? Hmm. And I would submit to you today that a challenge is necessary. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, the occasion that brings us together is not complete without a challenge to lead us forward. Yes, sir. And, and I want to share a challenge uh, with you today, really kind of a threefold challenge. The first challenge is the challenge of confrontation. Hmm. Challenge of confrontation. And I would suggest to you today that this challenge of confrontation starts out as a personal challenge. All right. You and I both could say, I wasn't there. Everybody in this room, if you're less than 100 years of age, <laughs> has the opportunity to say, if I had been there, I would have did everything in my power to stop it. Problem with that is that you and I don't live in the past. We live in the present. 
while setting our sights on the future. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And because of that, the first challenge before us today is a challenge of confrontation. Right. And the reason why that's necessary is based on the fact that there might not ever be a lynching in the likes of the historical truths of this city. But sin, mm -hmm. immorality, criminality, social injustice is just as present mm. today yes, sir. Yes, sir. as it was a hundred years well. ago. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and we have to, if we want to move forward, mm. accept the challenge of confrontation. Mm -hmm. By the challenge of confrontation, I'm simply referring to the willingness for us to see what's in our own hearts. Mm. For some, racism is overt and obvious. It's easily seen from within as well as easily detected from the outside. Mm -hmm. Yet for others, mm -hmm. sin, immorality, the criminality, the injustice of racism is covert. Mm -hmm. All right. Might be easily detected on the outside, but sin has a blinding effect upon us sometimes allows us not to see what's really there. Yeah. Mm. And if that's the case, we embark upon this challenge of confrontation from a willing spirit to be confronted, not with just what happened a hundred years ago, but what's happening in our own hearts. Yeah. Scripture says these words, Psalm 39, beginning at verse 23, Search me, All right. O God, and know my heart. All right. mm -hmm. Try me, mm -hmm. and know my thoughts. Yes, sir. And see, and see if there be any grievous way in me yeah. mm -hmm. lead me in the way everlasting issues of race and reconciliation are to improve it starts the challenge confrontation. Yes, sir. All right. It's just too easy to say it wasn't me. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's just too easy to say I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to grieve the evil of the past. At some point in time, We've got to allow ourselves to be confronted with sin in our own hearts. Say it now, say it. And that challenge of confrontation takes courage. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It takes courage to open ourselves up to be shown what sometimes we don't want to see. Yeah, Come on, yeah. All right. To be shown with what we don't want to admit. Mm. Yeah. 
and to be confronted with the potential for evil that exists within all of us. Yeah. 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 Given the right set of circumstances, there's no telling the evil yeah. that all of us are capable of. Right, right, right. right. Amen. Tell us. We're going to make any progress. Yes, sir. We've got to accept the challenge of confrontation. I see. Yes, sir. To come face to face with what's going on in our hearts, with what's going on in our minds, with what's going on with our actions. Yeah. 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 All right. Second challenge, the first one is the challenge of confrontation. Second challenge is the challenge of confession. Mm. What shall we do when we come to the realization that it's not just what those people did a hundred years right, ago? Right, right, right. When we find the courage to be shown so that we can see the sin, immorality, illegality, the injustice of racism in our own hearts. When we come face to face with the man in the mirror all right, all right. and see what's really there, right. what then mm. shall we do? Come on, preacher. All right. All right. How shall we respond to the ugliness? Yes. All right. yes. yes, sir. How shall we react when we realize we're not as clean mm. My God. as we hold ourselves up to be? Yeah, yeah. What's the next step when the hypocrisy within us is exposed to us? All right. Mm. Then comes the challenge of confession. Huh. And biblically, confession is simply an agreement with God. Yes, sir. Right. So, when we see what's really there on the inside of each one of us, God does not simply call us to understand our sin. God does not call us to explain away yeah, yeah. our sin. Uh -huh. God does not call us to attempt to justify right, right. our sin. Uh -huh. The challenge of scripture is not just to explain, not to excuse, not to blame, not to justify, not to rationalize, but the God of creation, mm. the God of redemption, calls us to do one thing with our sin that we're confronted with. That is to confess it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. To get to the point where you and I can agree with God regarding his assessment of our hearts. Amen. Not to look at the other fellow. Uh -huh. Not to point fingers. Not to say, at least I'm not like. Right, right, right. Not to say, at least I didn't do this. All right, all right. And what they did was far worse than what I did. Well, so I must yeah. be a little bit better off. Well, the Bible mm. calls us to agree with God yes, sir. about His assessment <laughs> of our hearts, uh -huh. our minds. Our actions. Yeah. 
Hear ye the word of the Lord today. All right, all right, all right. First John chapter 1. Verse 6 says, if we say we have fellowship with him, mm -hmm. sad, sad. while we walk in darkness, we lie <coughs> and do not practice the truth. Well. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, uh -huh. we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If, if we say we have no sin, mm. we deceive well, ourselves. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And the truth is not in us. Uh -huh. That's it. If yeah. we confess, agree with God yes, sir. Uh -huh. about his assessment mm -hmm. yes, sir. of our hearts, our minds, our actions, if we get rid of our own justifications, uh -huh. our own explaining away, mm -hmm. our own ignoring, our own justification, and agree with God about what's on the inside of each one of us individually, if, if, if. we confess our sin, uh -huh. Uh -huh. He yeah. Yeah. is faithful. Yeah. And just yes. My God. to forgive us our sins. Yes, sir. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, sir. Yes. Forgiveness is a gift given by God. That's right. Uh -huh. And it is freely given to those who confess. Those who agree with God that racism lies within. The challenge is first the challenge confrontation. All right. So that we can see what's really there. All right. Second challenge is the challenge of confession. To turn to the one that knows all uh -huh. and agree with his assessment of our lives. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And the third challenge, challenge <coughs> of cleansing. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Lord. The challenge of confrontation, the challenge, confession. And then there's the challenge of cleansing. All right. Will you allow God to change you? Yes. <clears throat> Will you individually allow God to clean? The ugliness mm -hmm. on the inside. My, my. The potential for the same evil that we reflect upon 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. The, the, the challenge of cleansing is a passive challenge in that we don't do the cleansing. All right, all right. All right. That we allow mm -hmm. the Holy One, yes. uh -huh. the perfect one. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The pure one. Yes, sir. To do for us what we cannot do right. Right. for ourselves. Come on, yes. preacher. Yes. Come on. Yes, sir. I submit to you today that only God can cleanse us. Yeah from the sin of racism. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Psalm 51. Mm -hmm. Purge me mm -hmm. with hyssop. Yes. 
and I shall be clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Mm -hmm. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me yes, sir. a clean heart, yes, sir. O God, yeah. and renew a right spirit within me. Cast mm -hmm. me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Yeah. And uphold me with a willing spirit. Yeah. If we're going to move forward, if there is hope <coughs> for a brighter tomorrow, mm -hmm. it starts with the challenge, confrontation. It leads to the challenge of confession right. and then to accept the challenge of cleansing. Yeah. If we accept the challenge yeah. to allow God to show us what's really there, mm -hmm. agree with his assessment yes. of our sinfulness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And allow him to do the cleansing. <coughs> if that takes place, Omaha, mm. there is hope. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what we need is hope. Mm -hmm. All right, talk. Not based in what we experience today. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Not based on what happened a hundred years ago. Right, right. But for the future. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. That one day we might experience with more of a sense of reality uh -huh. the words of the Apostle Paul when he says these words in Ephesians chapter 2. Right. Therefore remember that at one time you Gentiles in the flesh called uncircumcision mm. by what is called circumcision which was made in the flesh by hands. Remember that you were at one time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Beautiful. Yes. For he himself is our peace. Mm -hmm. Who has made us both one. And has broken down in his flesh the dividing mm -hmm. wall of hostility. Mm -hmm. By abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances. That he might create in himself one new man mm. in place of the two so making peace mm. and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross yeah. Yeah. thereby killing the hostility and he came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. Mm -hmm. For through him we both have access mm -hmm. in one spirit to the Father. Mm -hmm. So then, and I pray that we get experience a taste of that 
on this side of glory. Amen. So then, so then, you are no longer strangers. Yeah. yeah. Aliens. Mm. But you are fellow citizens mm -hmm. with saints and members of the household mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. Built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself mm -hmm. being the cornerstone. Yeah. In whom the whole structure, being joint together, grows into a holy temple mm -hmm. in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together yeah. into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Beautiful. Amen. Amen.